All smiles and his head bowed for the king. You couldn't accuse the foreign secretary of lacking respect for the Saudis. Mr. Hammond said he raised the case of British man Carl Andre, who is in prison for possessing alcohol and had been facing a sentence of lashes. I'm pleased to be able to say uh, that I have heard this morning that the public prosecutor is now in the final stages uh, of uh, completing the necessary processes that will lead to Mr. Andre's release and return to the UK, we expect, within the next week. Mr. Hammond also said they talked about shared goals in Syria and his support for a political process in Yemen. And throughout, the emphasis was on how strong the British-Saudi relationship is. Perhaps he felt a reminder was needed. Only two days ago, the Saudi ambassador in London wrote a strongly worded article saying the kingdom wouldn't be lectured to. Writing in the Telegraph, the Saudi ambassador said there had been an alarming change in the way Saudi Arabia is discussed in Britain. He singled out Jeremy Corbyn for criticism, saying the leader of the opposition had breached mutual respect by saying he had convinced the prime minister to cancel the prison contract. And he warned these developments could have potentially serious repercussions that could damage the mutually beneficial partnership our countries have enjoyed. Britain's dealings with Saudi Arabia have been under greater scrutiny in recent months. Intervene now, personally, with the Saudi Arabian regime. With pressure from the opposition and even cabinet ministers. A £5.9 million contract to train prison officers in the country was cancelled. And we have now reviewed this issue further and decided to withdraw our bid. Um, but there are still a number of hidden agreements with the Kingdom and increasing demands for transparency. We know that the prison contract was ended. Why shouldn't we know what other contracts government departments here uh, are entering into? Uh, if they won't tell us that, then I think we can be understandably suspicious that they are again are things that the British people would find unacceptable. One contract is to provide expertise with security. Figures released to Channel 4 News show the College of Policing received more than £296,000 to train 14 senior Saudi police officers. The ethics and integrity are at the forefront of our thinking. The trouble is the Saudi regime's definition of ethics is pretty different to ours. Ali al-Nimr, just 17 when he was arrested, is one of several prisoners sentenced to beheading and crucifixion for taking part in political protest. Mr Hammond is understood to have raised his case today privately, though notably there was no mention at the public press conference. Ali Nimr's father was briefly arrested yesterday. Earlier we spoke to him about his son. There is no news now from him because we cannot visit him now. We haven't seen him since last month. I went to prison last week, but I wasn't able to see him. So with threats of repercussion, it seems Britain is now treading carefully to avoid embarrassing the kingdom. Saudi Arabia doesn't like to be discussed uh, in, in the public uh, anywhere, I mean, not in its own country. I mean, the Saudi government doesn't like to be criticized, uh, but also not abroad. And these threats have worked in the past. So obviously under the uh, uh, Tony Blair's government, uh, uh, investigations into, into Saudi, um, into bribes being paid um, uh, for, for arms exports were stopped. It's a controversial but crucial friendship to counter terrorism as far as the British government is concerned.